Okay, so I'm at port and it's already not going well. My flight has been cancelled. So I'm here for four hours now. They've given me a meal voucher and basically told me I'm out of luck for four hours. So I'm just going to be hanging out in the airport. It means I don't get to go with Robin for my makeover that was scheduled with the NARS makeup artist. So I'm kind of bummed about that. And I now get into Toronto three hours later or four hours later. So I won't get in until almost 3 p.m. So yeah, that is the start of my day. Can't say I'm thrilled about it. It's currently about 6.45 in the morning and I left work early to get here and yes, sadly that is it. So I will check in with you guys all later and yes, that is it. Okay, so it's now 8.30 in the morning and I have my Diet Coke. Um, I'm usually instant human just at Diet Coke. Um, I know it's terrible for you when I go through far, far too much. But yeah, um, it's 8.30, I'm at the airport, I'm waiting for my coworker, who is actually on a different flight than me now to Toronto, but they leave five minutes apart and we get into Toronto five minutes apart. So at least we will figure out how to get to the hotel together since all three options I had for rides are now no longer options. So yeah kind of frustrated just reading a book. Um, at least I brought a book. Um, I was tempted not to since I was gonna sleep on the plane, but yeah. So anyways, I will see you guys all hopefully in Toronto. Hey everybody, so I'm in the Toronto airport. I just landed, it's about 2.30. A friend of mine was on a flight that left five minutes before mine, so she arrived five minutes ago. So I'm just walking through the airport to meet her and to go grab my luggage. Um, it's about 2.30 Toronto time, and I'm gonna go find her, and hopefully we're gonna start this weekend quite a few hours late and missing an event or two that I had planned, but there's not much else I can do about it. Hi everybody, so I'm in my girlfriend's room and I just think it's absolutely hysterical, so I wanna share with you the bathroom. I don't know if you can tell, let me try this way. This is the shower. And this is the bedroom. So when you're in the bedroom, you can see whoever is in the shower. So I'm going to go into the bathroom. And I'm going to look through the shower at Panit, who's waving back. Because, yes, I think that is so weird and bizarre. And some people might like it. I'm totally not digging it. But yes, we are in our hotel. Hi, everybody. Um, Panique got a king room. Um, Stephanie's staying in my room, so we have a queen room, so I'll show you the room later. But yes, I just wanted to update you and tell you I'm in Toronto. Panique's here. We found each other at the airport. We met some random 19-year-old university student from, where was he living? Victoria? Yeah. Living in Victoria. And yes, we ended up sharing a cab ride with him. His goal was to go downtown and get drunk. He had no other plans, and we were going downtown to the hotel, so it worked out well. And yes, we are going to leave this creepy room with the shower that it puts on a show for everybody. And I like, like that it I also looks out look right like, to the mirror. Like, yes. The files we have in your box. Like, the files we have in your box. <laughs> look at this. I'm going to lie on the bed. This is me lying on the bed watching Panit have a shower because that's not creepy at all. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so we just came from Shoppers. We just came from Shoppers Drug Mart, um, and I bought a bag full of Dior goodies that I'll get to play around with. Um, then we ran back to the hotel because I left my jacket and it was a little cold. And I'm not as bright as Panit is here and didn't bother to bring my jacket. So now we're headed to Eaton Place. Um, so we're gonna do some damage at Sephora and the Shoppers Beauty Boutique there because they sell Chanel. So yeah, I'll see if I can bring my camera along in the store. They'll probably not let me, but we'll try. And yeah, we're gonna see what other damage we can do. Okay, so I completely and totally failed at the bringing you guys along while I went shopping. Um, did a ridiculous amount of damage. But I'm here with Vicky. Hi. Um, so we found we found Mickey. She came back to the mall. We kind of missed each other, but she yeah. came back to join us. And Panit's here. And I think we're about just ready to go back to the hotel. I think I need to sleep before.
before I fall over. And I'd rather sleep by choice and not because I'm passed out on a random street corner in Toronto. Up until 5 o'clock in the morning again? Yes. Well, I got off work at 11. Like, I, I worked until 7 a.m. and then I come here. So I'm going on about 37 hours without sleep. So I'm going to say goodbye and I might check in a bit later tonight and I might just pass out. Okay, so it is 10 after 10 tonight. I am exhausted. I'm about to head to bed. Um, yeah, tonight was really good. I went to Sephora, um, spent boatloads of money I shouldn't have. Um, thankfully, most of it was all gift cards. In fact, all of it was gift cards. I still have $23 in gift cards left. Um, my total was $4.40 before um, the 20% off VIB. And they had the Dior 500 point perk with the necklace and the lipstick and the perfume. So I was really excited about that. Um, so yeah, so I got that. I went to, um, there's a Shoppers Drug Mart like two minutes from this hotel, like on the same block. And I went and I did a $170 redemption there. And then at Eaton Center, went to Ch the Chanel in the Sh Shoppers Beauty Boutique and did $170 and an $85 redemption. So I got about $850 worth of makeup and IMS hasn't even started yet. So I feel like I'm already kind of makeup out. Not in makeup out, but like purchases. Like I feel guilty that I got as much as I did, even though I only spent like 50 bucks on taxes at Shoppers and nothing at Sephora. But yes, anyways, before I go to bed, I'll do a quick little bit of a sneak peek. So I got some Chanel goodies. The one thing I was pretty sure I was not going to under any circumstances be talked into getting is this, which is the Le, Be Le Beige. It's the brush. Retractable Kabuki brush. And it was the one thing I was like pretty confident I was not under any circumstances buying. And I'm in love with it. Oh my goodness, seriously, you people have to try it. That's my little bit of a Dior haul. Um, I got a blush and a five shadow and then two of the cream shadows and a bunch of samples. And then it's Sephora. Look at this. I'm officially a VIB Rouge. I feel like that's not a good thing. Like, I feel like probably shouldn't be happy about that. But yes, um... Every, everything are things that I either knew I liked. Nothing was really a spur of the moment random. Never tried. I didn't know that I was going to pick up the NARS and the professional and everything, but they're things I know and I like. This was the one thing that I've never seen before and never heard of before. I wouldn't try the sample in store because the idea of using a lip gloss in store kind of um, creeps me out but it's a lip balm and base and it's like really really weird um if i can show you guys really quickly um because it's like bright blue let me see if i can open it it's yeah it's like a tiffany blue greeny blue and it's minty smelling which i don't like minty smelling bases because they tend to be drying and it's called the boom base Never heard of it, never heard of the brand before. Um, so that's going to be fun to try. Got the off the cuff palette. Um, got the Smashbox full exposure set. Got a bunch of stuff. So yeah. Anyways, that's all I got there. A quick tour of my hotel room because Stephanie is going to be coming. So two beds. Um, and I'm glad I got two beds because the idea of that. Um, see-through glass bathroom kind of creeps me out um, so two beds there's a chair over here and a lamp and a little table and then over here is like the desk and I have my laptop set up and my phone charging I'm gonna get my camera charging shortly and it's really dark in here so I apologize there's the big TV and a dresser and then my suitcase and my purse over here are all gifts that I brought out to Toronto for my brother so yes and then over here is the little fridge 
and the microwave and everything else and then there's a closet let me see if I can zoom out there's the closet and the door and then over here is the bathroom and when you go into the bathroom it's just a normal bathroom there's a bathtub and a nice big shower and then there's here and here I am I yeah my hair is completely frizzy and limp and ridiculous and I'm exhausted um, and yeah um, that's about it um, I always find it interesting that every Hilton hotel I stay at is completely and totally different as to what products I was at one that had molten brown and I was thoroughly thoroughly impressed because I love molten brown and here today is Neutrogena so it's always a different brand and I don't know why that always like I always look at that but I do so yes I'm gonna say good night I'm gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted and everyone is meeting here at the hotel at 8 a.m. tomorrow so yeah it's gonna be to me an interesting day um, Hopefully I get some sleep tonight, and yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.